guys, it's Rhonda from Immortal Colors here to do another pour for you today. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for stopping by. If you're new, please consider giving me a like and a subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. If you're a repeat offender, I appreciate the dedication and support. Today we're going to do a pour on this 10 by 20 canvas. I'm going to do a double flip cup colander pour. Well, strainer pour, I guess it is. Um... And today our colors are going to be Montmartre Phalo Blue, Artist Loft Titanium White, Apple Barrel Cobalt Hue, Folk Art Sterling Silver, Artist Loft Cerulean Blue, and Artist Loft Mars Black. And I'm going to go ahead and layer these cups pretty similar. Actually, you know, maybe I'll do the two end ones a little different. Let's start off with the end ones. I'm gonna put some a little bit of black and we'll go this direction. Cerulean blue, silver, and cobalt. Some white. Some phalo blue. And then we'll do another layer. Black. Cerulean blue. I'm not going to fill these cups up because I won't need that much. I'm probably going to have more than I'll need anyway, but better too much than not enough. I'm going to put this cup right there. Now, let's go ahead and layer the cup for this side. I'm going to start off with the Cerulean, or the Montmartre Phalo Blue. We'll go the opposite direction. Get a stop on this one here because that's plenty of paint. Okay, and that one's gonna go right there. And let's do one for the center. Put a little white. Let's move all the colors out of the way here. Alright. And we're going to do this into the strainer. Sit those two on top of one another to drain. And I'm going to put this one inside my drip cup and save all those drippings for a leftover paint pour. All right, let's see what we got underneath here. Probably 
pardon me. All right, let's give this a torch. down this way. This way a little bit. All right, guys, what do you think? Let me get you a little more in frame there. There you go. Let me uh, clean up my hands. I'll come down, give it a scrape, final torch and bring in for a close-up. After looking at this, guys, I want to stretch it a little bit more. That center isn't where I want it to be, so let's um, turn this around and try to stretch that center out a little bit more. It's not, it's not going to stretch the way I was hoping for, so we'll just leave it as is. We're just going to leave it as is now. Didn't come out as good as I had hoped, but it's not bad. Just a scrape. You want to do this so that the paint can stop stripping down off. And yes, it will continue to drip if you don't do that, and it'll pull the composition right off the canvas. All right, guys.
guys. Let me bring in. Let me go clean my hands up again. Then I'll bring you in for a close up. Go guys. Got a little lacing in there. A few cells. And then back over here to the cells. All right, guys, I'll bring you in for a close-up of the dry results when they're available. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think of this video. Okay, guys, here we go with a close-up of the dry results. It dried beautifully. Little cells here and there. Not too happy about that part in the center. But um, it's there. Maybe I'll paint over this one. I'm not sure yet. All right, guys, leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. If you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing so. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye.